Alice and you're watching the Alexandrovsky channel. In today's episode, we're going to try to answer a question. How do you save money at the dentist? We will talk about some steps that you're going to be able to take now, some steps that you can take at the earliest convenience, and what you should be planning in the long run when it comes to saving money at the dentist. But before we get started, let's not be lazy and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. So steps that you can take now. Number one, way to save on dentistry is to prevent dental problems that you are still able to control in, your first, in the first place. We are talking about prevention. What are the key principles in prevention? Proper oral hygiene at home, that we constantly try to stress about this on the channel. Yes, consistent flossing and brushing could be tiring, difficult and discouraging, but it what will make your teeth and gums as healthy. Your dentist or hygienist should be able to suggest you the appropriate ways to take care of your mouth and recommend you any modifications in your home care if necessary. So now you considered and possibly committed to starting your journey in a proper oral care at home. You're likely to have some questions. What to do with the floss under the bridge or how to take care of the certain dental appliances or why the gums are still bleeding even after a floss. These are all normal and common questions to ask your dental professionals. Don't be shy if you don't know this and it does not mean that you're stupid that, that that's what we're here for. So second step to take would be to make sure you are seeing your dental office on a regular basis for your checkups and professional clinics. For most adults it's usually two times per year. For some it could be as frequent as four times per year. As with everything in dentistry your routine care should be customized specifically for your needs. So at your earliest convenience, check your calendar to see when is your next, next checkup appointment. If you don't have one, call your dentist to schedule. And if you don't have a dentist or have not seen one for a very long time, it's time to find yourself a new dental home. Just do it. When you see a dentist on a routine basis and practice good oral care at home and you're given a treatment plan, how can you save money now? First, find out what kind of treatment plan it is. Is it to fix cavities or broken teeth? or is it a cosmetic smile makeover that you always dream of? Each of those plans are very different, where one is an essential plan and the second is a left. Complete your essential part of care as soon as you can, because given time, small dental problems will likely lead to bigger problems and bigger out-of-the-pocket expenses. And if you do want to go with that beautiful smile makeover that you always dreamed about, you should have a financial plan of how you're going to afford one option would be to start allocating some funds from every paycheck that you get that would go toward the elective care. After some time passes, depending on overall cost of the treatment, you will be able to get that smile that you always dreamed about. The second option for elective care or an expensive necessary work where one cannot wait, you may want to check out if your dentist works with a third party lending companies that can provide zero interest financing. Again, this is just examples and each situation is unique and you definitely want to discuss this with your dental practice. And to summarize, the best way to save money at the dentist is obviously to practice good prevention. Visit your dentist on a regular basis and have allocated monthly savings for your possible dental needs. Remember, dentistry can be expensive, but if you have allocated budget for your medical and dental, you will be in much better shoes if some problems suddenly appear. You will be ready to deal with it anytime. Thank you for watching until the end. Like and subscribe to the channel if you want to continue learning more about dentistry. Take care now.